Um, so let's go ahead. Let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius for this Mercury's retrograde? Thank you. Thank you, Dominique. I appreciate you. Let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius? Why do it seem like I go to the chiropractor so much, y'all? And I feel like every time it's just about time for me to go to the chiropractor, I'm all broke up again. Like, what's going on? I'm a, I be sleeping like, I got to sleep like in a, in a really awkward position. I don't understand. Good Lord of my, good Lord of mighty. Okay, this is a Sagittarius. This is a love reading. This is a love reading. Um, all right, for Sagittarius, very first card you got here is the Queen of Cups in the upright. Okay, this is a very positive card in regard to um, being ready for love. You know, for the Sagittarius out there who have been preparing for their partner. Uh, putting in the work to being a better partner. Y'all know I can't show too much for too long on, on, on the TT side of things. This is looking like someone who has definitely done the work. You're showing up in the upright. You're showing up like you're ready for love. You're ready to offer your couple love, right? Um, but what I will say is what I'm seeing. I, this is it, okay. It's two. It's two different Sagittarius's that I'm speaking to right now. One on the positive side who got their lesson the first cycle. They got their lesson on the first cycle. They said, you know what? I'm I'm accepting less than what I deserve. And I'm about to gather my belongings. And let's go, little kitty cat. I'm, I'm going ahead and carry myself on. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to stay for this. So I'm going to do my work now. And it was hard. And it was really stressful. And you had to be by yourself for some time. And you didn't want to be. And it was easier to stay. And it was easier to go back. And it was all these things that you were faced with. But then... You found freedom, you found peace, you found happiness, you found celebration, you found what it felt like to genuinely be loved and that love came from self, okay? That's what that's what I'm getting for this person, right? But then we got somebody, we got a whole different set of of um, of, of Sagittarius's, and this is for men or women, I'm sorry guys, because I, I, I'm tending to cater to my, um, my women audience, or female audience, whatever, but, um, for the second group of people, you guys have refused the lesson, right? There's some of you out here who have refused the lesson. Y'all didn't take the hint that first go around. So you are still cycling in that energy of um, it feels better to stay than it is to leave. But you're being forced to rebirth. And being if you ignore the rebirth, it's not helping anything. It's only prolonging the inevitable. So some of you out there really need to let go because you are really how can I say this? You are disrespecting the goddess within you. Like, or God, you know, whatever. God, goddess, whatever within you. You are disrespecting it yourself. You're disrespecting your highest version of self. And it's not, it's, it's, I mean, you literally overworking yourself. You got this eight of the times here. You're literally stressing yourself out to no avail over a situation that is unequally yoked. That's what I'm getting from this. Okay. This is for the second step, but the, the first step who have done the work, who have detached already, who have gone through the us and I, they felt it, you know, they journeyed all the way through the emotions and all that good stuff. It's a new beginning coming to y'all. But for the rest of you, y'all are, y'all going through it. Y'all going through it, but y'all don't realize that the reason why you're going through it is because you're not making the right decisions. You know what you're supposed to do. You understand that this person is not on your level. They're not ready. Even if you chose this person, you chose this person, they're not ready. They're not ready. They Yeah, they could do it if they wanted to. Remember that, okay, Sagittarius? Is, they have their cup and they can offer it to you if they wanted to, but they don't want to. And sometimes that's the harsh reality we have to recognize. Everybody has the ability to do whatever. They have free will. You can do whatever you want to do in this lifetime. And some people just don't want to do it. It's not that they don't even, you know, it might not even be personal. It might not even be that they don't like you. It might not even be that, you know, they don't love you, but they don't love you to the extent in which you desire to be loved. And you hold the right to walk away until somebody is in the upright and they're ready to look you in your eye and say, I want to be with you. I'm ready to do this. Whatever it is that you've been waiting to hear, you just accepting, you know, four out of 10 and the universe wants to push you to a rebirth so you can get what you want. Okay. Hard-headed Sagittarius. I mean, these people, 
baby and whoever this is man they just putting sugar on shit baby i'll tell you that right now i ain't mean to be that vulgar but that's what came to mind and i gotta speak it whatever whoever this 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 energy is baby you know it ain't that what's the problem i mean i get it whatever but you know it ain't that y'all literally are painting a picture to yourself and you know rocky nursing yourself to sleep at night telling yourself that oh it is this a flowery bed of ease and y'all literally are not it's not that baby they ain't that he ain't 